So the partnership in, in this case is the partnership between the Ottawa Health Research Institute and a business development group in San Francisco, which formed a company called Generex Biotherapeutics, and we're developing a novel cancer therapy based upon a virus backbone. The partnership evolved from earlier scientific collaboration between the two founders of the company, Dr. David Kern in San Francisco and Dr. John Bell in Ottawa. This partnership between the Ottawa Health Research Institute and a company in San Francisco has had a great deal of impact as we've now begun to put into clinical trials a novel cancer therapeutic that is being manufactured here in Ottawa. And we're really taking advantage of our research expertise here and business expertise in San Francisco to put forward, I think, a real uh, vibrant company. We see the partnership evolving in several levels. Um, the partnership provides a great vehicle for Ottawa to deliver its research into the clinic. Um, the San Francisco group has a sweet spot with translational research in terms of getting basic research into the clinical setting. The increase in activity in Ottawa on the production side, we anticipate will lead to commercial scale production of clinical trial materials in Ottawa. Partnership is a great collaboration between the Ottawa Hospital, particularly the Thrombosis Unit, and Vocantis, trying to find where technology and healthcare can meet together. The partnership came together for a number of reasons. First, there was a study that showed that most of the doctors spend most of their time working on chronic disease management type patients. And the second study showed that if you could manage those patients a little bit better, you could save upwards of 8,000 lives a year. The challenge we had was not enough money, not enough people, and not enough time. So it came together for the thrombosis unit looking at other work we had done in the healthcare fields to see could we apply that to chronic disease management patients. The management of people in chronic disease, they had three things that they had challenges with. One, people forget to show up for tests, so we tried to find a way to remind them to show up to those tests so they could stay on their care plan. Another one was when they went and got their tests done, the dosing of their drugs needed to change, but trying to get a hold of people on a Friday afternoon of a long weekend was sometimes a little challenging, so we tried to automate the call flow for them. So it certainly took the care plan they did, they manually and automated it for them. We're now commercializing this across Canada and into the United States. And again, it's sort of nice to brag about, hey, it started with the scientists here in Ottawa. I founded Therapeutic Monitoring Systems in an effort to bring this technology to the bedside of patients around the world. I realized that research alone was inadequate to make a significant improvement in our capacity to monitor patients. This is truly about bringing a pioneering uh, a change in the way monitoring is performed for patients at risk for or with existing critical illness. Traditional monitoring does point-in-time analysis. What are the vital signs right now? We are evaluating the patterns of variation over intervals of time which is providing otherwise hidden information for the clinician or care provider at the bedside. To successfully commercialize this novel technology, we need a, a partnership of numerous individuals, which includes the Dynamical Analysis Laboratory at the Ottawa Hospital, a business management team, which includes Stephen Fanjoy and Simon Goulet, the uh, Ottawa Hospital and the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute, including Jennifer Mills and uh, Joe Irvine, so support from organizations such as the Ottawa Technology Transfer Network and the uh, Ontario Centers of Excellence, and importantly, the investors who've uh, supported therapeutic monitoring systems for the last year and a half. It's that one, the Mustang ones, Mustang Sally. Oh, I think I prefer something out of Verdi. Row, row, row your boat. Wheat Kings by the Tragically Hip. Please welcome Brian Canarans, Managing Director, Investment Accelerator Fund, Ontario Centers of Excellence, to the stage to present this award. Thank you. Are we on here? Oh, yes, we are. So, as an organization that uh, is all about the commercialization of technology, in as much that OCE will put money into the development of technologies in academic institutions in collaboration with businesses, all the way through to investing in early stage companies that are investing in, uh, oh, sorry, they're commercializing new technology. We're certainly very pleased to, to sponsor this award. And the three finalists are, as you know, Generex, Therapeutic Monitoring Systems, Vocantus, and the winner is... 
Spokane. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. What I thought was interesting, well, I had to compete with Rubber, rubber Ducky or whatever the other one was, just row, row, row your boat. But I thought it was amazing that all three for the commercialization finalists were all in healthcare. So that certainly bodes well to what we're doing here in Ottawa. I want to thank Oak Ray, I want to thank Scope for the nomination and as well as the award. I want to especially thank Dr. Rogers, Dr. Wells, and Dr. Forrester for the collaboration over a number of years to get to commercialization. And particularly thank the Kansas team. Go Ottawa, go.